Hello everyone, so today we're going to be talking about simple mode. Is it worth using or not? So um, as you can see, if we hold down shift and press F3, we can go into BNS mode or we can go to BNS simplified combat controls. So uh, that's simple mode. When you have simple mode activated, you can see that your right mouse button over here, it's got a big simple thing on top. And when you hover your mouse over it, it tells you what rotations it will do. It will cast these skills in this order every single time. So is simple mode actually good or not? Simple mode for the fire gunner is pretty good. That is one of the few classes where simple mode works very, very well. For a fire gunner, if you want to be lazy, you can turn on simple mode and you'll be perfectly fine. This works for the bullet storm build and the unload build. They work perfectly fine. Both are great. You can just turn on simple mode and just remember to use V to proc your bracelet, use C for the firefall, and other than that, you're you're good to go. For fire gunner, it's very simple. For blade master, it is very hit or miss. So for blade master, if you have low ping, so low ping is you know 150 to 200 ms or below in game i would recommend you to play manually mainly because you can get a lot more dps if you're playing manually and because the ping is not holding your dps back by by much however if you're playing with my ping which is you know 233 and it hovers up to about 270 300 then um i recommend thinking about using simple mode the reason I use simple mode, disclaimer out there, I do use simple mode on the Blade Master. It is not, it is far from ideal. But the main reason why I do that is because of this. Look, I'll disable BNS mode and I'll do my rotation. So I'll press V for flock of blades, I'll press tab, I'll press C, hold down one, two, three, four, press X, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Press tab again, one, two, three, four. So you can see how slow each Dragon Tongue was over there, especially with the tabs. Normally, if you were playing with low ping, like if I'm on the Chinese server, I press tab, I hold down right mouse button, and I can do seven Dragon Tongues easily, every single time. On this, I do four. So effectively, I'm losing three Dragon Tongues worth of DPS right off the bat. That really sucks. So especially trying to remember your rotation because I don't main a blade master. I main a summoner and I main a gunner. These two classes, you blindfold me, I can do the rotation. But with a blade master, I'm still relatively new to it. So I don't know the rotations like the back of my hand. So when I'm in a dungeon, when I'm in a high pressure scenario, or if I'm trying to do mechanics, you know, I tend to just zone out and forget about my rotation. So uh, it kind of, simple mode kind of alleviates that pressure, especially since I, I'm coming from a range class. So the main difference that I've realized between melee and range classes is a lot of the th a lot of the things in my guides where I talk about, oh, you know, you can do the mechanics here. For example, for uh, Sandstorm Temple, you can stand at a certain spot, DPS him, move to next, the next spot, keep DPSing, and then you'll avoid all these sand explosion circles. So that works for a range class. But when you're playing a melee class, like when I'm playing my Blade Master, it doesn't work. Because if you're doing that, you're not attacking the boss and you're kind of like dead weight, right? So uh, I'm still trying to learn how to play melee class on all of the dungeons because I've never had to deal with having to stand three meters from the boss or else my attacks don't hit him. So in that case, you know, I recommend using simple mode mainly because you're just totally new to the game and if you were playing manually, you would do less damage than playing with simple mode mainly because you don't really know what you're doing. So at the beginning, go ahead, you can use simple mode. However, if you really want to maximize your damage and if you really want to learn your class, then I would play manually. Just, it would suck. It will suck for the first, I don't know, maybe two weeks because you won't really know what you're doing. But after the initial two weeks of learning and dying a bazillion times, eventually you will learn how to do, how to do your rotation. And once you've learned how to do your rotation, over time and over practice and muscle memory, you'll be able to cast all your skills without thinking. Just like when I play on my gunner, when I play on my summoner, you know, I don't need to think. I just know. I don't have to look at my cooldown timers. I just know. It's just 
muscle memory. It's like, oh, you know, my pedal storm is up now. Like, I don't even have to look at the screen to know that it's up now because there's just like, like an internal timing that you just get used to the cooldowns. It's the same thing applies to every class. So, you know, for Blade Master as well, you know, I just need to put in the time and the effort to practice, to learn, and uh, eventually I'll get it down. So what, what's, what can you take away from this video? What's the TLDR? The TLDR is more or less, if you don't know what you're doing and you have no clue how to play the class, use simple mode by all means. However, if you want to learn how to play the class properly and it's your main and you really want to invest into this class, then uh, force yourself to play manually. It's going to suck, but it's the only way to learn how to play the class properly. So um, that's the TLDR. Other than that, yeah, simple mode is great for Fire Gunner. Every other class, meh, you lose about like 20% of your DPS. So uh, that's it, really. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. What can I say except you